what up what up what up so we are here with the review for marriage to medicine this is season six this is the reunion part three the final part of the reunion so we pick up with where last week episode left off which could have been done it could have been last week when we ended this reunion but thanks to bravo we just finished this week so this week it picks up with greg and quad they are face to face with one another and you know andy's asking each of them how they feel seeing each other quad you know i guess because they in a bad space she feels a little iffy greg you know it is what it is with him greg is just kind of nonchalant at this point so um you know we got the other couples backstage and you know you had i know heavenly you had contessa you had a lot of them telling greg to get his woman back but you know with them saying for greg to get his woman back it's not even the fact that um for greg to get her back because quad does not want greg quad never really wanted greg if we're gonna be honest with it you know with each other so um you know andy asked and quad how did he she feel about hearing greg say the nice things you know the pleasantries about her and she did like them um, to hear that and um you know then we talk about that radio interview that gregory did last year where you know he was talking about how they didn't have sex for three years or so in the marriage and you know quad is talking about you know with them not having sex that was when she knew that he was cheating on her and gregory's like but you know i went up and cheated on you so you know how did you know that and she was like you know you couldn't get an erection oh shit excuse me and you know uh Greg is like, you know, it was a lot of stress going on, so that's why I couldn't get an erection, which I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Um, so basically, here's the thing that got me, was when Quad said that Greg did not want the marriage, he made a mockery of their marriage, and he didn't want it. And I'm like, true enough, he didn't make a mockery out of your, your, your marriage. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny that part. But as far as you to say that he did not want the marriage, neither did you you i think and i have to agree with greg i do believe that quad checked out of the marriage a very long time ago so for her to say that he didn't want the marriage it's it's obvious that you didn't want it as well and i just hate the fact that she tried to blame that solely on greg because i didn't agree with that and you know um andy asked greg that he cheated and greg said he did not cheat on um quad and you know they talk about um the night that greg was in the club when quad saw her husband dance with a motherfucking woman in her dancing with a woman in her motherfucking face um and greg says you know um it's so funny that you're talking about you seeing me with that woman and greg want to play semantics talking about the woman he wasn't dancing with the woman the woman was dancing with him i'm like greg if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck nigga it's a duck and you know he talks about how quad is dating because you know andy asked the question of if they're dating and you know quad said that uh, greg is dating but she's not dating and then and greg was like but you know who was that guy that she was at the club with and you know quad is still saying she was not dating and you know um greg did say that he loves quad and that um you know he tried with quad you know whenever he tried to reach out to quad she didn't answer which we saw that you know last season when she was in a car with toya she hung up the phone on him this season when she was with jackie or um heavenly she didn't answer the phone or she did answer the phone she was very short with him so then you know they both talk about abuse on both ends you know um quad said that greg drug her you know messed up her knee uh he took the battery out of her car he um you know said that he would kill both of them and you know just proceeded to put his foot on the gas and you know he said he pulled a tv out of the wall i'm like damn like what size tv was it like goddamn, how heavy was the tv like he got some incredible hulk ass strength pulling shit out the wall and shit like damn um so then greg also says that you know well you um pulled a gun on me or a knife whichever one it was pulled a knife i'm thinking about tammy on walker um th but you know they both agree that they've been violent with, with one another which i'm like god damn and you know andy asked him the question of in order for them to move forward what do they want for you know what do they want and you know greg he apologizes to quad and you know he tells quad that um you know he still loves her and he just wants what's best for quad and quad basically says the best you know the same for him and you know um i'm sorry but when quad tried to sit there and pretend like she was crying i'm like quad there's not one tear falling out of your eye and andy was like you know what i think i know what you want to say you want to say that you still love him 
and she was still trying to pretend like she was crying and i'm like there's not one tear but then if you pan over to greg you can look at gregory's eyes and gregory's eyes were just watering swelling up with you know they were watery and i'm like damn those emotions that gregory are feeling are real now i'm not i can't say that Kawhi's emotions are not real i just don't 100 percent believe her emotions is the better term to say i'm not gonna say that she's not authentic and it's not real i just don't believe it on my side i think that Kawhi puts on a show for the cameras and you know that's just how i feel you know people might feel otherwise for me but that's just what i feel okay so now that the whole greg and quad thing is over we have all the couples back on stage with the exception of quad and you know andy's just asking them how they all feel um you know contessa is like you know after hearing all the things she heard you know she felt you know she like why was i advocating for those two getting back together and then you know um jackie says it was hard to watch it but at first but she's kind of happy for them now because she hopes and feels that they can at least get to the point where they can be friends with one another and i'm like i don't know that it's going to happen jackie but you know i i get where you're going with it but i just don't see it happening um you know and then they talk about the abuse but mariah is like you know to contessa you know don't put that out there because he didn't say he hit her and then bravo kind of played it back when um Kwa was saying that he drugged her which he didn't really admit to dragging her he was just saying but you but you um pulled a knife on me but you did this but you did that so i guess in a way in a sense it could be like he's saying i did this because you did that and you know because um heavenly also said you know we're talking about a man putting his hands on uh, on a woman Kwa basically and you know toy is like don't say that heavenly because he did not say he hit her and Andy was like, but they both, you know, admitted to abuse on both sides, which they both did. Um, you know, he was like, y'all just going to defend him, huh? And then, you know, um, Simone says that she felt um, Greg was saying sorry for the pain that he had inflicted on Quad and how she hopes that, um, you know, now Quad can move forward. And while Simone was talking, then Quad comes out and joins them. And, you know, Quad says that sitting down with Gregory was challenging for her, which I can imagine that it was. You know, having to dredge up stuff that you guys have dealt with over the years and you kind of, I, I ain't going to say dealt with, you kind of basically have swept it under the rug a little bit. So, you know, I definitely get um, what she was saying. And, you know, she apologizes and um, she apologized to the women. And I'm so happy that she apologized to them because, you know, it was much needed. Like, you push these women off all season long. Well, not all season long, but for the first half of the season you pushed them away so i was got i was kind of happy that she was able to apologize to the women so then we move over because we said the couple's on the stage so you know i read this segment where they were asking the, andy was asking the questions from the viewers and from um you know just asking his questions i was kind of in and out with this because i wasn't really 100 percent interested i know uh andy asked lurch has he um been king for a day again he says no which i'm glad <laughs> Um, and you know, he asked him, how did he feel when Jackie told her patient that, you know, she, um, she still has trust issues with him. He said he wasn't happy with it, but I'm like, I mean, what do you expect? You expect her to just, just say, okay, we're back in this marriage. We're going to work on this, but I'm not going to have trust issues with you. Like, fuck out of here. Like, that's some crazy shit. And then, you know, um, Andy is talking to Cecil about his job. And, you know, Cecil says that he quit his job and, you know, he got a severance package. But now it's on him from Simone to find another motherfucking job. And, you know, um, you know, uh, Mariah's like, yeah, and it's trickling down to Aiden. And then Andy's like, well, what's going on with you, Aiden? And it's the same thing from earlier in the season. He had that contract for a year and he's trying to debate if he wants to go to L.A. or if he wants to go to Houston, which we know the real reason why they are talking about la and houston they're talking about la because married to medicine um los angeles is coming they showed a, a a preview of it we will get an episode coming in march so once married to medicine in los angeles comes on in march i will possibly re I, i'm gonna watch the first episode and if i like the first episode then i'll review it which i wish they would bring married to medicine houston back because married to medicine houston was actually really good you know, I watched the first season of Marriage to Medicine Houston. I liked the um, black doctor. Um, she was a dentist, Dr. Ashandra, or I think that's her name, Ashandra. I couldn't stand the one that begged, was begging that man to 
get engaged to her and then after the show ended they broke the fuck up and you know marriage to medicine houston had the same outcome of this marriage to medicine like how it goes from because marriage to medicine houston it premiered on a friday night so that was actually why they moved originally moved marriage to medicine to friday nights so that it, it could be a lead in for marriage to medicine houston which people forgot about it because i clearly forgot about it because i had intended to watch marriage to medicine houston but i missed the first episode and i didn't even know it came on until i watched ashley miller's ashley shy miller if y'all not subscribed to her go subscribe to her she love her um so uh yeah i didn't know i didn't even know that show was on until ashley said something about it in her marriage medicine video so um they asked the question of toy andy asked the question of toys why does she flip out over simone and a whole basic comment about sex and you know toya gave some kind of bullshit ass answer which it had nothing to do with her whatsoever but um <laughs> cecil says should i take basic if it's frequent i'm like god damn y'all don't have them y'all don't have sex like that and then on top of that she's basic i'm sorry i could not be with simone ain't no way like you gotta do something in bed like you can't just lay there and let me just huh, 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 huh. And, and like that's just gonna be boring my nigga like no uh, uh, like i can't have boring basic sex that's just that's all right y'all the last thing that we're gonna talk about and we're gonna be done with this review and we're gonna wrap up the season um it's gonna be toya and contessa i don't know why we spent so much time on toya and contessa i'm still trying to figure that out um so toya let us know that with the house they are um it's, it's coming along nicely they are um they will close on the house in february um she let us know that she's because andy asked her what is the budget right now I thought Toy was going to say that they went over. I'm like, girl, please say y'all ain't went over on this house. But um, they have not went over on the house. She said that she's putting down money. Technically, Eugene is putting down money because I don't know what Toy is putting down. But whatever, if you say so, Toya. Um, so then someone said to Toya, uh, well, Avira asked a question about her um, saving, putting some money toward her kid's college fund. Well, she said, how you know I'm not doing that? And it's not the fact that they're not saying that you don't do it. They're saying, you know, I guess a lot of people feel like you guys just got out of the tax problems that you had and now you are going into, because technically this is another bill, another debt that you have to pay. And, you know, you know, if Toya and Eugene got the money to do it and it's not going to put them back in debt, by all means, go for it. Um, And, you know, Toya says over the last five years, she's learned a lot about budgeting and whatnot. I'm like, okay, if if you say so toya i really hope i really do hope toya has learned her lesson because i feel like when it came down to toya and eugene's tax issues it was mostly toya i don't believe it was eugene i just believe that it was mostly toya um <laughs> and then contessa i don't know why she was so shady contessa says that you know she's happy that they found a forever home <laughs> because they were living like um refugees i'm like oh my god why would she say that so um you know toya then talks about how contessa has attacked her all season and i'm like i think i missed i think i must have missed a few episodes in between here and now but i i, I don't 100 percent remember contessa attacking you i remember it being you this whole season going at contessa but you know whatever maybe maybe i i Maybe I've been watching a different show. Maybe I was watching Marriage and Medicine Los Angeles instead of Marriage and Medicine Atlanta. I don't know. You know, could have been watching a different show. But if that's what Toya, you know, feels, go for it, Toya. So then, you know, Andy asked the question, Toya, of Toya, why did she feel the need to um, address, you know, at her party? Why did she feel the need to talk to Contessa on the speakerphone, on the microphone? And, you know, she wants to say, oh, it was because Heavenly was being so messy true enough heavily was being messy but you didn't have to when it came to that phone call because contessa was on speakerphone you could have took the phone from heavenly and you could have turned put it on um, you could have took the speakerphone off and had a conversation with contessa and be like hey girl you know you didn't tell me that you weren't coming is everything okay oh your dad is sick oh your dad is this oh, okay girl i understand okay i see you the next time bye that could have been a conversation, but no, Toya wants to take that opportunity to blast her, and then she wants to sit here and blame it on Heavenly. Like I said, Heavenly 
well, it was messy, but you know, what? Oh God, Toya, 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 Toya. So then Toya and um, Contessa, like they started screaming at each other. I'm like, what the fuck? Because at a certain point in time, I kind of, it ain't that I zoned out. It's just that I didn't know who was saying what, what was being said because they were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it was just like, what the fuck? It was just like school age kids just screaming at each other. You said this, you said that, da 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 I'm just like, oh my fucking God, shut up. So, um, you know, then we move over to the whole Antigua trip when, you know, um, Toya hit Contessa's tits. Now, um, Andy asked her, did she really believe that she did? And she said, yeah, because she says Toya has a dark and dirty soul. I'm like, well, Contessa, that's a little low, even for Toya. And, you know, Toya's whole thing was she apologized to her. She said she apologized to her three times. And um, and Bravo did show that Toya did, in fact, apologize to Contessa. And it was just Contessa, you know. Um, yeah. Like I said, most of this part with Toya and Contessa, it was just those two screaming at each other. So I really couldn't grasp who was saying what and what was being said because, like I said, they were just going back and forth. And then at the end of the episode, they all talked about, you know, what they have learned over the season. I'm not going to talk about what each of them, one of them learned because I didn't really 100% care because it's bullshit because they're going to come back to us next season with some new, some new bullshit and they're going to be screaming at one another and we're going to be back at next year's reunion talking about the same bullshit that they supposedly learned. But that was Marriage to Medicine. Season 6 is a wrap. So now we are moving into Season 7 and we are moving into a whole new um, city, Marriage to Medicine, Los Angeles. So... Until Marriage to Medicine in Los Angeles, I will see you guys later.